From time to time, I get a question how to install macro and asset files, which I provide for free. If you're interested in free assets, check out the link in the description. Let's start by importing assets. The assets file have the extension .af assets. To import them, you need to make sure the assets panel is open. You can enable or open the assets panel from the window menu. Most panels in Affinity have an hamburger icon, which will open up a menu with dedicated actions and options for the panel. I'm not sure what this menu is called, but I like to call it the hamburger menu. To import an asset, we can use the hamburger icon to open up the assets panel menu and choose import assets. From the dialog window, we can choose the file, which should be a .ef assets file, and press open to import the file into our assets panel. This will import a new category to the assets panel. If the imported asset category name already exists in your assets, your existing asset category will not be overwritten. In this case, Affinity will just create a new category with a number behind it. In my case, I already had the GF Tools category, so it imported as a GF Tools 2. One thing you might notice is that the imported category has a link in front of the category name. This indicates that this category is available in all the other Affinity apps, like Designer and Publisher. I believe this is the default behavior when importing assets. If you have created an asset category in Photo and want these assets to be available in other Affinity apps, you can use the Link Category menu. As far as I know, there is no real way of easily undoing the link action. While on the matter of assets, here's a quick tip for you. From the hamburger menu, turn on the show as list option. This will also show the description of the assets, making them easier to find. By the way, if you want to use an asset, you can just drag and drop the asset from the asset panel into the canvas. Easy peasy. Now let's take a look at importing macros, which sometimes can get confusing as there are two types of files used for macros. The first is the .ef macro file. This contains a single macro and can only be imported to the macro panel. Just like the assets panel, make sure to enable the macro panel from the window menu. To import a .ef macro file, we need to click on this import macro icon located at the top right of the macro panel. We can now select the .ef macro and press open. If all goes well, the macro panel will be populated with the steps in the macro. To use the macro, you can just press the play button on the macro panel. Keep in mind that this macro is not saved between sessions. If you would like to save the macro for permanent use, you need to add this macro to your macro library by pressing this Add to Library icon. By the way, if I'm not mistaken, you cannot import a .ef macro file into the iPad version of Photo, as the iPad version does not have the macro panel. The second macro file you can import are the .ef macros file. This file contains a collection of macros, which need to be imported to your library panel. Again, if the library panel is not enabled, make sure to enable it by using the window menu. We can now use the hamburger menu while the library panel is active and choose import macros. Select the .ef macros file and press open to import them. Just like with assets, if the macro collection already exists, it will not overwrite the collection but create a new collection. Once the macro collection is imported, you can use the macro in the library by just clicking on it. In a future video, I'll explain how to use presets, brushes, palette and styles files in Affinity Photo. Hope you found this video useful and thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons before you leave and until the next video.